Welcome to the Communicate Clearly podcast. This is my first podcast, so welcome. I'm so excited to share my content with you. Most people struggle to communicate clearly, so I create this content for you to help you become confident and competent in your communication skills. Today's podcast is going to be all about how to communicate clearly. So without further ado, I'm going to go right to the content. Five hacks that you can implement today to instantly level up your communication skills coming up. This episode is brought to you by my YouTube channel, COMTV, where I create videos weekly to help you succeed in your communication skills and to build your toolkit for communication. So if you're interested, you can go check that out. Go to the YouTube search bar, type in COMTV, one word, and it'll pop up. Make sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell on if you want to receive newest, freshest content right to your inbox. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. The first hack we're going to dive right in is all about smiling you need to smile in order to communicate most communication is very dry and very annoying and some people don't understand what it means to simply smile when you smile it shows the world that you are confident that you are successful and respectable and at the same time it lets people know that you are a person that they want to engage with so if you smile by simply doing that it's a simple hack to help you Go that extra mile in establishing trust, respect, and engagement with the person you're trying to communicate with. So tip tip number one, hack number one, whatever you want to call it, is all about smiling. Make sure you are smiling. Tip number two is all about eye contact. You need to make sure you're making good, solid eye contact with the person you're trying to communicate with. Whether that's a big audience or just one-on-one time with that person, you need to make sure that you're engaging with them in eye contact and there's a great really quick tip to help you with that as well if you're someone who doesn't like making eye contact or you're not comfortable with that and i know with the cultural differences you know being you know in north america that's something we do different cultural differences you know maybe that's not the thing to do i know in middle east area and and that kind of culture it's not appropriate to do that but establishing for the north american culture making eye contact the quick way to, to get around this is start by looking at somebody's eyebrow or looking at somebody's eyelash or their cheekbone that's going to be a great way to kind of train your eyes and train your habits to help you communicate and kind of give that better eye contact to help train you so you feel more confident looking that direction and people look feel like they're looking at you and that you're making eye contact with them so that's hack number two make good solid eye contact it will go miles miles to establishing clear communication The third hack that you need to implement right away that will instantly help you communicate more is establish physical touch. No, it doesn't need to be sexual or anything, but simply just giving a person a handshake, tapping them on the shoulder or tapping them on the knee with like a with as a mode of laughter or happiness, you know. Establishing that physical connection is critical and paramount to having effective communication. The reason why is by establishing that connection, it almost it gets and eliminates three to five hours of connection and communication that you would have had to establish without that physical contact through words or engagement or body language rather than just touching the person and establishing that level of intimacy right away so it's very important especially when you're trying to communicate something important to someone to ensure that you're making that physical contact as soon as you can where it's appropriate too. if people don't feel comfortable with that you need to respect that as well so tip number three is all about physical contact now tip number four you need to speak slowly and confidently and clearly that's the most important thing when you mumble or when you speak too fast People don't understand you, especially when you're talking to old people. As you as you know, and I'm pro- you're you're probably aware, a lot of old people can have a hard time hearing. And by enunciating your words, it's good practice actually to to have good conversations with your elders to help you communicate more clearly because it forces you to really clarify your thoughts and clarify your your message to help you communicate. So, and then when you can take that practice into back into the world where you currently are living, all the things you're doing, it helps you communicate more clearly. So definitely, definitely consider slowing down your words and forming your thoughts beforehand to try and deliver them, deliver, deliver that message you want to communicate as clearly as possible. 
and slowing down that's super important as well now tip number four like i said is all about that now tip number five or hack number five whatever you want to call it is all about making sure your body language is reflecting what you are communicating so if you're happy and excited make sure your body is saying that with awesome open big hand gestures a big smile bright eyes confident jumping up and down that will give a message of happiness versus you know yeah i'm really happy right now and you stand there like you're some forgotten soul off the universe trying to remember where your place is in life no one's going to pick up on that you need to make sure your body language matches your emotions and matches the communication that you're trying to send so guys what do you think of these tips and make sure to comment in my youtube comments or you can send me a quick message at jonathan vogel is that's j-o-n-a-t-h-o-n v-o-g-e-l-i-s you can reach me out on reach out to me on facebook instagram or twitter let me know what you guys think also check out my youtube channel this podcast episode is brought to you by comtv my youtube channel where i post weekly videos to help you communicate clearly with confidence and competence all right guys thank you so much for listening in and i look forward to engaging with you guys in the next podcast episode take care you're awesome